When I think about immigration, I think of my own family. We migrated from Watagabo refugee camp in Strawberry, Thailand to St. Paul, Minnesota on September 16, 2004. I can still remember carrying whatever we can on our backs and putting large items in suitcases. I can still remember my dad carefully wrapping his claim with black cloth and carrying with him all the way to the United States. At this time, I even wondered why did he even bother bringing this instrument. My immigration story is going to be about the journey of my father and his claim to the new world. This is my father. His name is Vang Tao. He was born in Vang Van, Laos in 1955. He migrated with his family to Vientiane, Laos in 1979, where he got married. In 1993, his family migrated to Watagabo refugee camp in Sarabri, Thailand, where my younger siblings and I was born and raised. Watagabo refugee camp was home to my family until we came to the United States in 2004 and hoped for a better life. As the oldest of four children, my father stayed home instead of going to school. He helped around the house and on the farm. While he worked, his youngest siblings went to school. At the age of five, he started learning the claim from his dad. At the age of 30, he was able to get his own claim for 3,000 baht, equivalent to 90 US dollars. As he was growing up, Whoever was educated or knew how to play one of Mo many instruments was highly respected. As a game player, he gained respect from his parents and his community, even though he was not educated as a young boy. The game is an important Mo reed instrument. Today, it is still being played at funerals to play tributes to the dead. Also, it is played at the Mo New Year to celebrate the upcoming year. There are two parts when it comes to playing the thing. There is the spoken part or the translation part, and then there is the actual musical part. This is what makes learning the thing so difficult. You have to learn both parts in order to play it. <laughs> Traditionally, the game was meant for males only, but as time changes, anyone who wishes to learn how to play the game can learn it. Playing the game, it allows my dad to embrace his culture and traditions. It is a way for him to remember who he is and where he came from. Now my father's game sit in the basement, still covered in the same black cloth. I see him take it out to play once in a while. He used it to play at funerals numerous times. Even though its importance has changed over time, the game is still pride and honor to my father. This is proven by the smile on his face every time he talks about his claim. Now I know why he took his time wrapping this unique instrument of his, taking it halfway around the globe. It is because the claim reminds him of his hometown and who he is as a person. I chose to talk about my father's claim because he carefully carried it with him all the way from the refugee camp to the United States. On our way to the United States, I can still remember my mom holding our hands while my dad held tight onto his game. As a young girl, I tried to learn how to play the game, but I gave up after finding out how hard it was to learn an instrument. Now, knowing how important the game is to my father, I want to learn how to play it and embrace it the way he does.